Hi, so in this video we are going to represent cosine in terms of other ratios. That means we are going to represent cosine in terms of sine, tan, sec, cosec and cot, right? And the basis for all these conversion will again be sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, right? And this equation when we divide it by sine square, we get 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta and when we divide it by cos square we get tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sec square theta right so these are the few identities which we are going to use and now let me make a table kind of thing so in this case we are going to convert cos in terms of sine tan sec cosec and cot if you see properly from here, we have sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, right? That means cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta or cos theta can be written as square root of 1 minus sine square theta. Right? So cos in terms of sine is very simple which is square root of 1 minus sine square. And now we will convert cos in terms of tan. So here we have a formula in terms of tan which says tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sec square theta. And sec is what? Sec is inverse of cos. So it can be written as 1 by cos square theta and now if I take reciprocal of both the sides I'll have cos square theta is equal to 1 by tan square theta plus 1 and now if I take square root of both the sides and take only the positive values I'll get cos theta is equal to square root of 1 is 1 1 by square root of tan square theta plus 1 so cos in terms of tan is 1 by square root of tan square theta plus 1 and cos in terms of sec theta is 1 by sec theta because cos and sec are basically reciprocal of each other and now we have to convert cos in terms of cosec. So I think we can take the first conversion which says cos theta is equal to square root of 1 minus sine square theta and we also know that sine theta is equal to 1 by cosec theta and now if we substitute this into this formula it will get square root of 1 minus 1 by cosec square theta and here this actually this whole thing is under the square root right so I have increased the size of this square root and now if I solve this, again I'll make this bigger square root which indicates that both the values, both the numerator and denominator are under the square root. I'll get cosec square theta as LCM and this will be cosec square theta minus 1. Or you can write it as square root of cosec square theta minus 1 divided by cosec theta. Right, so this is the conversion of cos theta in terms of cosec theta. It is square root of cosec square theta, that is cosec square minus 1 divided by cosec theta, that is cosec. And now let's find the value of cos theta in terms of cot theta. So if we take the value of cos in terms of tan, which is cos theta is equal to 1 by square root of tan square theta plus 1 and we know the tan theta and cot theta are actually reciprocal of each other. So if I replace tan theta by 1 by cot theta and solve this expression we are going to get the value of cos theta in terms of cot theta. So let's do that. So this will be 1 by square root of 1 by cot square theta plus 1. Let's solve the denominator further. It will be 1 by 
square root of the LCM will be cot square theta and this will be 1 plus cot square theta and this will be equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus cot square theta divided by cot theta. Square root of cot square theta will be cot theta and this will be equal to cot theta divided by square root of 1 plus cot square theta. Right? So, cos theta in terms of cot theta is actually cot theta divided by square root of 1 plus cot square theta. We are not writing theta anywhere in the table. So, let me erase these thetas. This will actually give you the value of cos in terms of cot which is cot divided by square root of 1 plus cot square. And now as we know that sec theta is actually the inverse of cos theta. So, we can actually write the values of sec theta also in terms of other ratios. So, let us do that. Let this be the table and now we are writing the values of sec in terms of other ratios. So, the value of sec in terms of sine will be inverse of this value. So, it will be 1 by square root of 1 minus sine square. The value of sec in terms of tan theta can be written as square root of 1 plus tan square which can directly come from this formula and sec theta is sec theta and in terms of cosec it can be written as inverse of this value which will be cosec divided by square root of cosec square minus 1 and in terms of cot it will be square root of 1 plus cot square divided by cot. So, this is the expression of sec in terms of other ratios and how did we find that? Because we knew that sec theta is actually equal to 1 by cos theta. So, this is the representation of sec theta in terms of cos theta. So, that's all for this video and in next video we are going to represent tan and cot in terms of other ratios. So, keep watching MathsMath and bye-bye till then.